Welcome to Venice, a city that floats on water, a city of masks, a city of bridges, and a city that has withstood the test of time. Nestled in the heart of Italy, Venice stands as a testament to human innovation and resilience. Its intricate network of canals and bridges, its grand palazzos and squares, whisper stories of a bygone era. But Venice is more than just a relic of the past, it's a vibrant, living city. Join us as we unfold the rich tapestry of Venice's history, architecture and culture. Venice is not a city built on land, but on water. This city of lagoons emerged from the depths of the Adriatic Sea, a testament to human ingenuity and resilience. As early as the 5th century, people sought refuge from mainland invaders on the marshy islands of the Venetian lagoon. These early settlers, using wooden piles, mastered the art of erecting structures on the unstable marshlands. They drove thousands of alder and oak stakes into the lagoon's bed, creating a stable foundation for the buildings above. On these wooden platforms, they laid a stone base, and above that, they built the city we marvel at today. Their creation was not just a city, but a symphony of stone and water, a labyrinth of canals and bridges, a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity. From a marshland refuge, Venice rose to become a beacon of culture, commerce and art. Thus began the journey of a city destined to become a marvel of human ingenuity and resilience. The rise of the Republic of Venice marked a turning point in the city's history. The Republic of Venice, an enigmatic entity, was born out of the chaos that followed the fall of the Western Roman Empire. As the city grew in prominence and power, it became a beacon of trade and commerce, connecting the East and West through its strategic position in the Adriatic Sea. At its zenith, the Republic of Venice was a political powerhouse, wielding significant influence over the Mediterranean region. Its government, known as the Great Council, was a unique political system that combined elements of democracy, oligarchy and monarchy. It was innovative for its time and served as a model for other European states. Trade was the lifeblood of the Republic. Its vast network of mercantile routes stretched from the shores of Italy to the distant lands of the East, bringing wealth, prosperity and cultural exchange. The city became a melting pot of ideas and cultures, enhancing its reputation as a centre of innovation and learning. The Republic's influence extended beyond trade and politics. Its culture flourished, leaving an indelible mark on the world. Venice became a hub of Renaissance art, with masters like Titian and Tintoretto gracing the city with their talents. Literature, music and science also thrived under the Republic's patronage, contributing to the city's rich cultural heritage. The Republic's legacy is still palpable today. The iconic symbols of Venice, from the winged lion of St. Mark to the intricate masks of the carnival, all bear the imprint of the Republic's glory days. Its maritime laws and regulations form the cornerstone of modern maritime law, and its political system influenced the development of democratic principles in Europe. Yet, the Republic was not without its challenges. It faced threats from rival states, endured devastating plagues, and grappled with internal strife. Despite these challenges, it remained a resilient entity for over a millennium, a testament to its enduring strength and adaptability. The Republic of Venice left an indelible mark on the city and the world. Even centuries after its fall, the Republic's influence can still be felt today, in the waterways of Venice, the annals of history, and the hearts of those who cherish this unique city. Venice's architecture is as unique as the city itself. This floating city boasts a fascinating blend of architectural styles, reflecting its rich history and diverse cultural influences. Each building, bridge and piazza tells a story of a time when Venice was a major power in the Mediterranean. Imagine the city's heart, Piazza San Marco, a grand open space that Napoleon once called the drawing room of Europe. Dominating the square is the magnificent St. Mark's Basilica, an architectural marvel that blends Eastern and Western styles. Its domes and turrets are adorned with intricate mosaics, while its interior glows with golden Byzantine art. The Basilica is not just an iconic building, it's a symbol of Venice's past glory and ambition. Now let's navigate the city's labyrinthine canals to the Rialto Bridge, the oldest and most famous of the four bridges spanning the Grand Canal. The Rialto is a testament to Venetian ingenuity. In a city built on water, the bridge's single stone arch was a daring feat of engineering in the 16th century. 
Today it stands as a symbol of the city's enduring spirit and resilience. Venetian architecture is not all grandiose basilicas and stone bridges though. The city is also a patchwork of smaller buildings, each with its own charm. From the pastel-coloured palazzos lining the Grand Canal to the quaint houses on the lesser-known islands, the city's domestic architecture is a delightful mix of Gothic, Renaissance and Baroque styles. Venice's built environment is a reflection of its past and present, a cityscape shaped by the sea and the skill of its builders. Each brick, each stone, each wooden pile driven into the lagoon's bed speaks of a city that has thrived against the odds. This floating city, with its distinctive skyline of domes, towers and terracotta rooftops, is a living, breathing work of art. Venice's architecture is a testament to the city's creativity and resilience. It's a visual narrative of a city born from water, built on water, and thriving on water. A city that, despite its challenges, remains an enduring symbol of human ingenuity and resilience. Venice is a city of art, music, and literature. It's a place where inspiration flows as easily as the canals that wind their way through the city. The city's rich cultural heritage has shaped and continues to influence world art and culture. Venice is a city that has given birth to countless masters of art. The likes of Titian and Tintoretto, who called Venice home, have left an indelible mark on the world of art. Their innovative techniques and unique perspectives have shaped the course of art history, influencing countless artists who followed. The city's contribution to the world of music is equally impressive. From the melodious strains of Vivaldi's Four Seasons to the grand operas that have graced the stage of the La Fenice Opera House, Venice has been a beacon of musical innovation and excellence. Its rich musical tradition continues to resonate today, filling concert halls around the world with the sounds of Venice. Literature, too, has been touched by the magic of this city. The works of famed Venetian writers such as Italo Calvino and Tiziano Scarpa transport readers to the winding alleys and tranquil canals of Venice. Their words weave tales of love, intrigue and the everyday life of Venetians, offering a glimpse into the heart and soul of the city. Venice's cultural heritage is not confined to the past. It continues to thrive and evolve, influencing contemporary art, music and literature. Every corner of this city is a testament to its cultural richness, from the grandeur of the Doge's Palace to the vibrant works of art adorning the walls of the Peggy Guggenheim collection. This city is a living, breathing museum, a testament to the enduring power of creativity and the human spirit. Each brushstroke, each note, each word penned by Venetian artists adds a new layer to the city's rich tapestry of culture. Venice's cultural heritage is as vibrant and diverse as the city itself. It's a city that continues to inspire, to captivate, and to leave a lasting impression on all who are lucky enough to experience its cultural richness. Venice's cuisine is as distinctive as its canals. Now, let's dive into the mouth-watering world of Venetian gastronomy, where the city's lagoon and the Adriatic Sea play starring roles. Traditional Venetian dishes are a celebration of simplicity and freshness, often featuring ingredients caught just a few hours earlier. Take sarda in saur, for instance. This classic dish marries sweet and sour flavors with sardines, onions, raisins, and pine nuts, creating a taste profile that's uniquely Venetian. Or consider the risotto al nero di sepia, a creamy rice dish that gets its striking black color and briny flavor from cuttlefish ink. But it's not all about seafood. Venice is also known for its bigoli and salsa, a thick spaghetti-like pasta served with a rich, slow-cooked onion and anchovy sauce. Whether you're savoring a plate of fresh clams or tucking into a hearty risotto, Venetian cuisine offers a taste of the city's rich history and culture. Venice faces its own set of challenges. As we delve into the intricacies of this city, we cannot overlook the environmental struggles it endures. Situated within the embrace of the Adriatic Sea, Venice grapples with the persistent issue of rising sea levels. The city's charm, its canals and lagoons, ironically, are also the sources of its greatest threats. The phenomenon known as aqua alta, or high water, has become increasingly frequent, causing flooding that threatens the city's architectural marvels and the daily life of its inhabitants. Yet, amid the encroaching waters, Venice remains resilient. The city's survival is a testament to the relentless efforts to preserve its unique architecture and cultural heritage. One such initiative is the ambitious Moses Project, this involves constructing mobile barriers at the lagoon's inlets designed to shield the city from high tides. 
While the project has faced criticism and delays, it embodies the spirit of innovation that drives Venice's preservation efforts. But it's not just about safeguarding the physical city. The cultural fabric of Venice is equally significant. The city's authorities, along with international organizations, are working tirelessly to preserve its rich cultural heritage. From the delicate art of glass blowing in Murano to the elaborate craftsmanship of Venetian lace in Burano, these traditions are not only preserved but also celebrated, ensuring they continue to thrive. Efforts also extend to protecting Venice's iconic landmarks. The city's architectural wonders, like the ethereal St. Mark's Basilica and the majestic Doge's Palace, are subject to regular maintenance and restoration works. These structures continue to echo the grandeur of Venice's past, standing as timeless symbols of its history and culture. Preserving Venice is undoubtedly a daunting task, a delicate dance between modernity and heritage, between the needs of the present and the echoes of the past. It is a testament to the city's resilience, a story of survival etched into the very stones of its streets and the waters of its canals. Despite the challenges, Venice continues to captivate and inspire. Its story is one of endurance and adaptability, a testament to the human spirit's capacity to cherish and protect its heritage, even in the face of overwhelming odds. Today, Venice is a vibrant and dynamic city. It thrives on a delicate balance between its rich history and a forward-looking vision. The Venetian economy, once heavily reliant on trade and maritime power, has now pivoted towards tourism. With over 20 million visitors annually, the city's picturesque canals, historic buildings, and unique culture continue to attract people from all corners of the globe. Yet Venice isn't just a city for tourists. It's a living, breathing entity where over 50,000 residents go about their daily lives. Venetians, with their enduring customs and traditions, are the lifeblood of this city. From the fishmonger at the Rialto market to the gondolier navigating the Grand Canal, their routines provide a vibrant rhythm to Venice's unique lifestyle. In the realm of celebrations, Venice truly comes alive. The city is renowned for its festivals, such as the historic Venetian Carnival. With its masks, costumes and revelry, the carnival transforms the city into a spectacle of colours and sounds. Other notable events include the Venice Biennale, an international art exhibition, and the historical regatta, a traditional gondola race that has been held annually since the 13th century. Yet, despite its vibrancy and charm, Venice faces significant challenges. Rising sea levels and frequent flooding pose a serious threat to the city's survival. However, the spirit of resilience is deeply ingrained in the Venetian ethos. Efforts are underway to safeguard the city's future, ranging from ambitious engineering projects to preserve its architecture, to sustainable tourism initiatives that aim to balance economic needs with environmental preservation. In the face of these challenges, Venice remains a city of endless inspiration. Its resilience, beauty and unique way of life continue to captivate the hearts of those who visit and those who call it home. Venice, a city born from water, continues to enchant and inspire, standing as a testament to human creativity and resilience. As we delve deeper into the Venice experience in our next segment, let's remember that this city, with all its complexities, remains one of the world's most extraordinary places. Experiencing Venice is like stepping into a living, breathing work of art. Each corner of this city unfolds like a page from a beautifully illustrated storybook with its maze of canals, enchanting squares and centuries-old architecture. Venice's iconic landmarks, such as St. Mark's Basilica and the Rialto Bridge, are a testament to the city's rich history and architectural prowess. Yet, the allure of Venice extends beyond its well-trodden tourist paths. Venture off the beaten track and you'll discover hidden gems like the Scuola Grande di San Rocco, a treasure trove of Tintoretto paintings, or the tranquil island of Torcello, steeped in ancient history. A pro tip for the discerning traveler, always take the time to simply wander, get delightfully lost, and let the city reveal itself to you. Venice's charm has also captivated the hearts of writers and filmmakers alike. It's a city that has been immortalized in the verses of Lord Byron and Thomas Mann, and in cinematic masterpieces like Summertime and Don't Look Now. Venice is not just a backdrop, but a character in its own right, mysterious, romantic and beguiling. Foodies will find a paradise in the local Bukhari, traditional Venetian wine bars serving chichetti, 
Venice's answer to Spanish tapas. Pair these with a glass of Prosecco or a spritz, and you're in for a gastronomic delight. And nothing encapsulates the Venetian experience more than a gondola ride at sunset, as the golden light dances on the rippling water, turning the city into a mesmerizing tableau of shimmering reflections. But Venice is more than its picturesque views and delectable cuisine. It's about the soul of the city, the spirit of its people, their traditions, their resilience, and their unwavering love for their unique homeland. Venice is not just a city, it's an experience, a journey into history, culture, and human ingenuity.